So this afternoon we're going to learn something new. We're going to learn how to achieve a sufficient, motivating, compelling want for your prospects to want to join you today. Yes. Not tomorrow, not next week, but today. And to do that you have to get people involved in your product. You have to paint the picture of people benefiting from your product. You have to get them excited. You have to touch their senses. Can anyone tell me the five senses that you need to touch? Sight. 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 Sound. 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 Smell. 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 Touch. Taste. Touch. Taste. 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 Yes. And if you're not touched sensually, you will not be touched physically. You'll not be touched mentally. You will not be touched emotionally. And you will not be touched to get out your money and buy. Because you have to be able to create a sensory experience. A step-by-step -step guide to sizzling. Now, what does sizzling mean? Well, sizzling is getting people excited about things. It's like cooking something in the frying pan and you can hear the sizzling sound, right? Yeah. Now, I can't say bacon in Malaysia. I have to say something else. Beef. Vegetarian bacon. <laughs> <laughs> So it's sizzling and you can smell it and it's just about ready to cook. And sizzling is about, you know, closing people at the right time. If you want to be a great chef, you have to prepare the food well, but you have to cook it well as well. Because if you have a nice steak and it's raw, you're not going to want to eat it, are you? So sizzling is about putting the pan on the, on the, on the stove, getting the temperature right, putting the vegetables or whatever you're doing in there, sizzling, keeping the temperature there, simmering away, and eventually eating it because it tastes so beautiful. But to get to that stage, you have to get the the things prepared first. Agree or not agree? Yes. yes. So rule number one is you must find out what their primary interest is in achieving financial independence. You must find out their primary interest, their primary interest in achieving financial independence. Now the primary interest is DBM, is their dominant buying motive. Dominant buying motive is the reason for them to buy now. A motive is a reason. A dominant motive is the main reason. A buying motive is when they decide to spend money. So primary interest in achieving financial independence can be different things for different people. Can anyone share with me what your primary interest is in achieving financial independence? So you have to get up and tell me what's that you're sleeping rather than when the alarm clock goes off. Yes. Don't want to be ruled by a third party control system where you have to serve it to make money. Okay, you want freedom. That's what it means, isn't it? Freedom. Okay. Freedom. Anyone else primary interest in achieving financial independence? To be able to travel. travel. To be able to travel when you like when you feel like it. Yes. And do your Tina Turner impressions where necessary. Yes. <laughs> and blow your mind. Spending the money without looking for Rita. <laughs> Rita, Rita. She's, she's naughty. But so are you, so that's okay. Right. Um, so, you've got to find out why that freedom is important to them. Because the why is everything in life. A why is the reason people do things. So why do you want freedom, Martin? Why do you want freedom? Because it gives me <coughs> choice. It gives me choice over what I do. Who I do it with? <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, it gives me a lot of uh, a lot of scope to to achieve the things I want to in life. Yeah. So now I've got more of a hot spot. So now I've got a more of a don and buy motive. So now I can start to focus on what Martin would what would drive Martin to join the business today. Does that make sense? Yes or no? Yes. 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 So sizzling is really getting to them, getting to their their real hotspot, their real interest. Now, the second thing that you have to do is when you found out their interest and you found out the dominant buy motive, I will share with you how to find the DBM shortly. But once you've found the DBM, you have to reassure them that Revelation, which is the business that you're in, because Revelation is owned by Max Generation, but your business is called Revelation. So you have to refer to it as Revelation, not Max Generation. We well, are owned by Max Generation, but you are Revelation. And revelation is a great empowering word because it, it, it encompasses change and it encompasses power and it encompasses freedom and it also encompasses learning because when you have a revelation it means you learn something new and more powerful. So that's why I love that name and I think you should really take that on board for your own business name because it's very powerful. So you've got to reassure 
the couple or the individual that revelation can deliver what they want. You've got to reassure them by doing certain things. Now one of those things you have to do is because you are very involved with vacations as a business, you have to find out what vacations they want. And it's no good just showing them a silver voucher with a generic picture in it. You have to actually get on the website, you have to actually find 10 hotels or resorts that feature their needs on a holiday. So if I was Rose, I want to go to a place where I can take my kids shopping, granddaughter shopping, and buy things for my kids that's local, right? I need to do that, and Hong Kong is my thing. So what I'd need to do is I'd need to show Rose 10 resorts in Hong Kong. And I'd have to, I need to show that online live. Because when I can share that with her live, it means that I can demonstrate, I can deliver what she wants. Everybody with me on this? Yes. Yes. Right? Yes. And also, you've got to be able to show people what they want to do on holiday. So if they want to play golf, you've got to show them a golfing ho a holiday. You've got to show them people playing golf. You've got to show them the golfing facilities and things like that. And then you've got to paint the picture of them playing golf. You've got to paint the picture of Rose shopping. You've got to paint the picture of lying on the beach and having cocktails brought out to you while your ankles are, are being cooled by the lovely blue ocean. Mm. Yes. Sure. Let me just paraphrase, I'm, I'm following you. So in order for us to get them to want to come into Revelation for financial independence, we're helping them to see how they can have a holiday. Because, because vacations are the epitome of freedom. Yeah. Vacations are the symbol of happiness. Vacations are the representative of having a great time. Are you with me on this? Yes. Right? Vacations encompass the whole thing with freedom. Because you need money to go on a vacation, yes or no? Yes. So the more you can get people involved in your own product, because I'll tell you what, you know, I'll tell you what. I started this business because I, I was in the vacation business. And the reason I was in the vacation business, or what I found out in the vacation business is, is I found out everybody loved a holiday. It was universal. There was no exception. None, none, none at all. Everybody wanted a holiday. I didn't meet anyone who did not want to go on holiday, even if it was in the front room. Because you can take a vacation in the front room, you know that, right? <laughs> you can. Like Martin says, who with in your front room makes a difference to your vacation? <laughs> Because you can create an, an ambience and an atmosphere in your, own, in your own place where you live because time is a massive element of financial freedom. So therefore, you've got to show them things that they can do with their time that they couldn't do if they were working for somebody. <coughs> do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Does that get, get your answer now? No. You've got to create desire for people to want to spend more time on the things they love to do. Okay, so this is what this is all about. You've got to be able to share with them at least, at least, and I really mean this, 10 testimonials. And you want to make those testimonials relevant to their demographic. No problems with my jacket today. Is that better, Rose? Thank you, darling. Thank you, Sayang. Right? Testimonials that are relevant to their demographic. But also cross-reference testimonials because, you know what? They might have a grandmother who's bored housewife, right? They might have a school leaver who would love to get involved in the business. So it's relevant to their family circle, their, their circle of influ influence and friends. And that's why you have to get to know them at the beginning and who their friends are, who they spend time with, what they do, what turns them on, where they go out at night, where they go on holiday. Because then you can turn those into a hot spot later on down the line. Are, is this clear to everybody, yes or no? Yes. yes. So you've got to show them 10 resorts, you've got to show them 10 um, agents who've changed their lives and transformed their incomes. Now I've shared with you two new deals today. Now if you are an agent and you are, um, you know, you're getting a $200,000 deal and a 30% commission, is that going to transform your income or not? 
or not? Because some people don't make that in a year. Some people don't make it in two years. So when you make it in like one day, that's pretty good, isn't it? Yes. Right. Because it doesn't take eight hours a day to get a deal like this. If you add up the hours it takes, it probably takes what, 12 hours or something like that? Yeah. Now would you rather make $60,000 in 12 hours or would you rather make $60,000 in 365 days? <laughs> right, that's what it comes down to, isn't it? It's less than 12 hours. It's less than 12 hours. But even, I think you'd all agree, would you like to work 12 hours and get paid 60,000 ringgit cash? Yes. yes. That's the same difference. Because when you've got more and more and more of these, it's fantastic. And that's what the top people are doing, guys, every single day. So you show them success stories of people benefiting from corporate sales and also recruitment. And you get the belief system there. Someone asked me before, can you please put your business license on the presentation for the recruitment presentation? Now, I said to them, sure, no problem, I'll do that. Right? But at the end of the day, the reason that question comes about is because a lot of MLM companies have to put the license. We're not MLM. We don't have to do that. They've put the license on the presentation. But don't forget, MLM companies do not have clients like this. They don't have clients like this. This is more powerful than any kind of license you can offer people. And if they want to see the company registration documents and all of that kind of thing, and the audited accounts, you can get a big stack of them and you can post them to them. But what counts is, is, real, is the real truth. Because a business, business license doesn't mean anything. What this means is everything. Yes? Marco, in addition to the clients that we have, uh, is there another reason, is there, is there another difference between what we are doing and MLM? Because we have uplines and downlines. You do, but you're only on a single level. So your, your compensation plan is a bit like an insurance compensation plan. It's a single level. In direct sales. Yes. Okay? So, does, does everyone get what I'm saying? Yes. So you have to show them 10 resorts, you have to show them 10 success stories because the client needs confidence that making money as an agent is easy to achieve and that the resorts and wealth education is readily available. So also you might want to share with them and show them some property education videos and also share with them people who bought properties with no money down. Because people would also love to learn those things, not just join a business. And these are added value benefits that you're actually sharing with people. Does that make sense, yes or no? Yes. yes. Why is it when we do a property workshop, most of them join the business? Not just a property workshop. You get what I mean? Because they're all bundled together in what we call wealth creation. And, you know, you've got to share as many stories as you can. That's why I keep asking you to please put your videos, record your videos. That's why I keep asking all of you to start blogging. Right? And on Sunday, I'm going to show you, show you how to blog. Because right now, we've only got one person who's blogged who's made a complaint, which is not true. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. That's the truth, right? So, if all of you started blogging, that blog would disappear. So it's down to you to make it happen, guys, and not come to me and say, Marco, can you please remove that blog from Google? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Google, I can't do that. Only way I can do that is by you blogging positively about the business. And, you know, do it at least on a weekly basis. And that's not difficult, it's dead easy to do that. Just tell people about your experiences. But, um, I remember when you're signing up, doesn't it? We can't use any of the next-gen logos or images or whatever. So, would that no, you can, if you've got a private blog, you can use images from us, right? Voucher covers things like that because you're a Max Generation official agent. So I'm allowing you to do that. Is that cool? cool. Right. Cool? So on Sunday, we're going to do some blogging together. We're going to start publishing on Sunday. You see, if you want to get everything in life, you have to do everything. If you want to get everything, you have to do everything. <laughs> it's like how you do anything is how you do everything. Correct. The problem is most people talk about doing it, but they don't do it ever. They just talk about it. Oh, I've got to do this, I can't do this, and I can't do that, and I can't do that, and I can't do this, and I can't do that. Oh, it's too hard, blah, blah, blah. But they don't do it. And when they can't do it, they blog about it. <laughs> 
YouTube. <laughs> yeah, at least they're doing something, right? They know they've got to do a blog, but they complain about every other bugger because they can't do it themselves. Right, so, you know, this is what it's all about. So that's rule number two. Rule number three is you've got to give them confidence and prove your claim with evidence, cold hard facts, some logic is required to sell. You must use financial logic, income proof sharing and travel cost comparisons. So the, finance, the logic is income proof sharing. How are you going to achieve that? Get some of the agents to share the checks with you and photocopy them, right? Also, travel cost comparisons is very important in this business. Very, very important. You know, so if they want to go to shopping in Hong Kong, you've got to break it down and ask them what it would cost them. For example, Rose, if you don't mind me asking, what would it cost you to go in a, well, how long would you go to Hong Kong for? Five days. Five days. How many rooms would you require? Three rooms. Three rooms. How many people in each room? Two. Two. So you'd require three rooms for five days, correct? Would you like to be near the shops or away from the shops? Near the shops. Okay, so would you agree with me that closer they go to the shops, the more expensive the hotel? Yep. Right. So what would you expect to pay for five days hotel for three rooms in Hong Kong? Mm. What am I doing now? Yeah. Engaging. Engaging. Engaged. Yeah. What, would you, what would you expect to pay? <coughs> per night. Per night. Per room. Yeah. Singapore dollar. Yeah. So what's that per night? Nine hundred dollars. So five times nine is five thousand five hundred dollars, right? So that in ringgit is about twelve thousand. Yeah. All right. So ringgit, it would cost twelve thousand. What about your flights? Flights. Flights about yeah, five hundred. Singapore dollar each. Yeah. How many? Six. Six, okay. So that's 3,000 Singapore dollars. So that holiday would cost, sorry, that would be 8,000 ringgit. So that holiday would cost you 20,000 ringgit for five days in Hong Kong. Would you agree with me, yes or no? Yes. Right. So that would be the traditional way of going to Hong Kong and doing it. Now, what could she do if she was a member of Revelation? So what you do is you go to the online portal, it's showing the difference, the cheapest price guaranteed, right? And then you show them the difference. And the difference is, I tell you now, about half of that. So you show them the half and you say, well, you know, which way would you rather holiday, this way or the other way? This is how you do your financial logic. How much money have you saved by one holiday? And what you're also doing, which is very important, which none of you are aware of totally yet, is you are doing a technique called price conditioning. You're using a technique called price conditioning, which means you are sharing with them, getting them to tell you, tell, show, say, mm. right? Getting them to tell you what it costs. $20,000. How much does it cost to join this business? Well, that's Grandmaster Agent. You can actually join this business for as little as 295 ringgit. Yes. With the new starting that's treasure pleasure. agency pack which Singapore guys are not aware of because we're going to launch it soon there, okay? <laughs> you can launch it for as little as 295 ringgit, right? But as a Grandmaster agent, cost you 11,995, you get 100 holidays. Right, and then you can do a comparison with um, the, the free holidays in the voucher. Yep. So then you're right, what about going to Bali for a few days? Would you like to do that, Rose? So what would it cost you to go to Bali? Bali. Yes. How many rooms would you need? Still three rooms. Still three rooms, yeah. yeah. About $80 per room. $80 Singapore dollars a room, yeah. So that's three nights. Well, five, five nights? Five. Five nights. Four nights. Four nights. Three rooms per night. So that would be 250 uh, Singapore dollars a night, right? That's a thousand Singapore dollars. That's about two and a half thousand ringgit. What would your flights cost you? Flights. 
So about 500 ringgit each, would you say? Singapore dollars, right? How, how many people? Six. Say three and a half thousand ringgit. So that's six thousand ringgit that would cost you to go to Bali for five nights. Would everyone agree with that? Okay. Let's have a look at the same holiday through Revelation using your voucher. How many vouchers would you need to use? Three. You need to use three vouchers. Okay. Um, how, how much are the booking fees? Because don't hide things, guys. $78. Well, let's, let's talk in ringgit. It's 49 ringgit each. Yeah. 98 for two people. So that's three times 98. Which is 29, which is 294. Flights? Those are the booking fees. Right? Flights are cheaper because you get a rebate. When you come back, when you paid for your own flights, you get a rebate when you come back. True or not true? True. Right? So? Well, let's assume you're going to buy the gold. Because we can talk about that later. That, that's another stage. Okay? But let's take the rebates out. Let's say the flights are the same. Yes. Right? The flights are the, th the same. How much money have you saved? <coughs> you have saved, would you agree with me, over $2,000? Yes. Right, which, which holiday would you rather take? MG Bali. MG Bali. Next generation. Next generation <laughs> Bali. Can you see why so many people are getting involved today in this business? Yeah. Right? Doing this is an essential part of your business presentation, guys. Because you have to overcome the objection that they can find a holiday cheaper somewhere else. Yes. Yes. And you've got to prove it to them. Does, any, does anyone like this example? Yes. Do you like this? Are you going to start using it? Yes. What we do is guarantee the date. You give us three dates, we'll guarantee the date for you. If you can't find the, the three of them together, we find another date for you. Okay. No, you don't have to pay any surcharge. So basically, you can put in a request that the date must be available for the same same hotel. Yes, you can do that. Family, yes, you can do that. Yes, you can do that. So you can do that. Yes, you can. Okay. Can you see why so many people take a holiday through 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 Revelation? Revelation. This is how. This is what you do when you're selling your individual vouchers, by the way. Right, which I don't think any of you are doing. Financial logic, my friends, that's what you have to do. Clear? Yes. Okay, you have to get your clients to mentally see themselves benefiting from it. This is the sizzle part. Just imagine going to Bali, Rose, in our beautiful coconut sweets. In a place called Seminyak. Do you know where Seminyak is in Bali? Have you been to Bali? Yes. Seminyak is the exclusive part of Bali. It's like the Beverly Hills of California. <laughs> it, it is. It is. And Seminyak is like this because it's got exclusive restaurants. It's on the beach. It's got exclusive bars. It's got exclusive shopping. Right? It's got exclusive spas. And it is a literally a beautiful location. And within that location, you can travel all over Bali. And you can travel to a place called the Coup d'etat. Has anyone heard of the Coup d'etat? <laughs> now, they have a Coup d'etat in Singapore on the top of the Arena Sands, right? That's crap. <laughs> I've been there. It's rubbish. And it costs you about $100,000 for a drink. <laughs> right, so you go to Coup d'etat in Bali, which you can actually, you can, you can actually walk to it. You go to Coup d'etat and have a sunset cocktail. You can have a non-alcoholic cocktail or you can have an alcoholic cocktail. Depends on, of course, your particular choice. You can go Coup d'etat. You can sit on the ocean in a long sofa, deep sofa, 
and you could lie back in the sofa and the cocktail would be brought to you on the beach and you can watch the sunset go down, it takes about an hour, and you just lie there all night and be served drinks and then you can walk home if that turns you on. Would anyone like to try that? Yeah. Right, so that's Seminyak. And tell you what, you know, if you've not been to Seminyak and not seen coconut sweets, don't write it off because it will blow your mind. And in Coconut Suites, it has its own private spot, it has its own private swimming pool, it has restaurants in there as well. It's a private suite. In fact, the suite is that nice, it has its own kitchen. And the suite is that nice, it has its own sofa and also equipment inside, but it also has its own garden. You know that? Wow. You don't know that? Coconut Suites has its own garden. It's about, um, put all these chairs about the size of this garden here, about the size of this space here. And you can actually have, uh, you can actually have dinner in your garden and the restaurant can set up a five-star dining experience and you can have a butler bring the dinner to you in your own garden of your own suite. Cool. Does that sound cool or not? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Very very that's a four-star. Yep, yeah, that's what you can do in Coconut Suites. That's our resort. Yeah. 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 It's just imagine sitting down, a butler is bringing the dinner to you on a silver platter and you're with your girlfriend and you sat down and you're looking to her eyes and sighing. A lad who says I'm going to blow your mind now. <laughs> <laughs> so you sit there and you smell the dinner and it smells lovely and the sunset is coming down at the right time and you're drinking a beautiful glass of wine. It's the, the condensation is running down the glass. I'm using sensory selling right now, yeah. right? Yeah. And it's just amazing. And you can do that. You can go to that resort in this business. Would anyone like to visit that resort? Yes. yes. Right. So that's how you do it. So, you know, you can do a, you can do a story about them buying a no money down property. Because a lot of people want to, if that's the hot spot, that's what you've got to share with people. Okay? When you've done all of that, the last step is you have to close them. You have to close them and ask a trial close when you've completed the four steps above. So you can say to them at the end of that particular sizzle, you can say, is that the holiday that you had in mind? Yes. Is that the holiday you had in mind? Yes. Wouldn't it be fantastic to take advantage of that this year? Yes. Can you see why so many people are holidaying with Revelation? Yes. You will be in a team of two. And it will be the one person that you've never met before. So what you need to do is hang around and find a person that you've not spent any time with this week so far. Go. Okay, you have to write one page. You have to write one page of your prospect enjoying a jacuzzi together. <laughs> Together with, I didn't qualify that. So, example, you've got an example there, so you know, because you can do anything in a jacuzzi. And before you, you know, now I'm not talking about that. Farting is jacuzzi without an engine, right? So, <laughs> you can talk about, you can talk about what you know, to prepare the jacuzzi, not just in the jacuzzi. And what you know, they could be drinking champagne in the jacuzzi. And how can you sizzle people like, just imagine the cool champagne slipping down your throat and the sensation tickling your tongue as you put the glass to your lips. Things like that. 